Thanks for joining me, Billy Cage, the current champion, for this big news. Kangan Ashra and Bucky are crossing over in a monumentous event on the 6th of June. Today, we will watch the short trailer, and I will break down each combatant and give my opinion about such warriors as only someone of my caliber is qualified to do. Well, that didn't give away much of what to expect for the upcoming crossover. So I will go over each fighter and who I think will win and why. To get started, we will check out the tale of the tape. Spoilers ahead. First we have Kanganashra's Oma Takeda from the inside area of Japan. At 28 years old, he stands at 182 centimeters and weighs in at 85 kilograms. Fighting with the Nico style of martial arts that maximizes the user's physical conditioning, both muscular and cardiovascular. And by focusing his key and using the advanced technique, he can go beyond his physical limits to perform many devastating strikes and grappling attacks, such as the flying axe kick, guillotine, jellyfish clutch, and much more, making Oma Takeda a well-rounded and powerful fighter. Now for his opponent, Bucky the Grappler's Bucky Hanma from Tokyo, Japan. At 18 years old, he stands at 168 centimeters and weighs in at 76 kilograms. Fighting with the total fighting style, that is a mix of martial arts, that makes Bucky extremely dangerous. And by focusing his key, he can activate the demon back, which also increases his physical capabilities beyond human limits. Bucky continues to evolve his total fighting style by incorporating any techniques he thinks will improve his already lethal martial art as he continues to fight with the world's greatest fighters from around the world with various styles such as karate, kung fu, boxing, pro wrestling, among others. Bucky is a powerful fighter, and with his ever-evolving total fighting style, he can finish the fight anywhere it goes. Oma Takeda's goal is to be the strongest fighter in the world and won't stop improving until that happens. Oma made it to the finals of the Kangen Annihilation Tournament and after losing, he continues to get stronger to realize his dream. Baki Hanma's goal is to defeat his father, the world's strongest fighter, the ogre, Yajiro Hanma. Baki is single-minded in this pursuit and won't stop until he achieves his goal. Baki won the maximum tournament defeating some of the best fighters in the world, with the exception of his father, Yujiro. So after much research and careful consideration, I believe the winner of this fight will be Bucky Hanma. While I do believe that Bucky is physically superior to Oma, I don't believe it is by a huge margin, and I believe their styles are equally dangerous, with maybe a slight edge to Oma's Nico style. I think what gives Bucky the advantage, and the reason I think he will win, is Drive. I think Bucky's drive to get stronger than his father and defeat him in battle is stronger than Oma's drive to be the best. And in terms of strategy, I believe Oma's more reckless approach to battle will be a bad matchup for Bucky's more calculated way of fighting. All this together is why Bucky Hanma will win against Oma Takeda. Now, there is another fighter out there that can defeat both, and that is me, the greater current champion, Billy Cage. So I challenge the winner of the fight if they have the guts to take me on. If you haven't seen what I am capable of, you can do so by reading the Webtoon comic, Akura Champions, and stay tuned. After the tournament I am currently fighting in, I will be doing a bodybuilding contest video with Baki Hanma's father, the great ogre himself, Yujiro Hanma, right here on Master Arts Combat Corner. So tell me in the comments who you think will win on the 6th of June. Thanks for watching, the links to the webtoon Akura Champions as well as the Pugilist are below. And if you would like to see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button. Billy Cage out.